Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here and today's video will be living in Japan on $4.50 a day. Yes, it is doable. A little bit of a challenge sometimes, but I would like to share how I, how I accomplished this. The reason for it is, is I'm on a five and a half month vacation. So, you know, there's been certain days where, you know, you spend a lot and you know, you go out, uh, uh, for example, I was taking dance classes, I was going out clubbing, going out dancing, going to the beaches, traveling all over Okinawa, just seeing different sights and, and everything. But with a long vacation, sometimes you have to restrain yourself for, because you just can't simply go through three, four hundred dollars a day and then, you know, for five, six months, you'll just... You know, unless you're super rich, you'll, you'll run out of funds. So this is for the world traveler on a budget. And let me get into it. First of all, say, you know, you're, you're backpacking around for like, you know, two or three days. So, you know, you really don't need a place to stay. You know, look at the weather, see, see how it's going to be, the 10-day forecast. If it shows that it's sunny, you know, you don't need to stay in you know, a hotel or a hostel or any anything like that every night. You know, you can take a hiking trip and just hike from town to town. You know, I suggest, you know, a good way of traveling is a bicycle. You know, if uh, you, you don't have to buy gas, insurance, you don't have to worry about a driver's license. So all these things, it just gives you good flexibility with that. So with transportation, you know, you have one option, which is your feet, but, you know, then you got a very, you know, sometimes the, the backpack weighs a little bit, and that gets a little annoying. So, you know, you run into things there. You can have a bike with a basket, throw everything on that, and then get yourself a tent. You know, you, you do have the option if you, if you don't want to, you know, spend the money on a tent, you could sleep under the stars. You know, maybe just use... You know, some of the clothes rolled up in a trash bag, that's your pillow. You know, usually these tropical environments are very, you know, the weather's very good, so really it's it's comfortable. You know, I would recommend getting some mosquito and off just for some of the bugs. You know, they're kind of annoying. And just sleep under the stars. But, you know, the problem with, with that is, is you never know when it's going to rain. So, you know, I do suggest, you know, you can get... A $30 two two man tent, get that, and pretty much, you know, stay in that if if you need a place to stay. As far as keeping, you know, putting your gear away so it doesn't get wet, you know, find like a nice little campsite or, you know, resort, you know, just just anywhere where you can just pop the tent in relative safety and enjoy enjoy yourself. So, you know, with that. Let me go into food, and food here in Okinawa, you know, if, if you go to, say, Kentucky Fried Chicken or Pizza Hut and stuff like that, you know, American food tends to be, to me at least what I experience, a lot more expensive in Japan than if you got it in America. And, and to me, you get smaller portions, and, you know, it's just, it, it's never really a pleasant experience for me because... I go to KFC, I spend $20, and I, I'm still hungry at the end of the meal, you know. But if you eat, find the local establishments where the locals eat, and actually go in there and, you know, you, for example, you know, sometimes the American dollar, you know, just because it's $4.50, you go, wow, that's such a small amount. I'll get like, you know, may, maybe some Pop-Tarts and that's it. No, no it's not like that. You know, you can actually find some of these restaurants where you get a very large mill and, you know, you eat one mill a day or break it up into two, and which you can get for, you know, a couple bucks. And it'll last you all day. You don't really need to eat. And you really don't need to eat three meals a day either. You know, everything's, you know, flexible. You know, you just have to be flexible. You know, you eat a big mill one day, you know, the next day you, you might only need to eat one meal so you know just keep in mind you know you are traveling and sometimes you don't get three meals a day and so so there is that so 
you know, with that, with surviving on $4.50 a day, just go for a nice little hike around Japan, seeing the sights, see, hit the beaches, and enjoy yourself. Just take your time. There's no hurry, okay? You need a place to stay, okay? Pop your tent, stay in there, or just, just keep going. You know, you don't have to, you could stay up for a couple days and just keep traveling from town to town, site to site, uh, club to club, you know, but then, you know, it'll get more expensive if you do that. And then once you get it to where your finances are, you know, more sustainable, then you can go out and, and do things like boating, snorkeling, the dance classes, stuff like that. You know, just the, the issue with such a long vacation is, is there's so much to do and so many people to see that you, that you just want to experience everything. But if you do that, then your, your budget's just astronomical. So you do have to sit there and know when to cut back and know when, to, when is the time to actually make an adjustment. And being flexible and making an adjustment is, is what it's all about. Because stuff's going to change, your plan's going to change. And, you know, I'd just like to leave you with that. If you do like the video, please like and subscribe. And there will be more videos to come. Have a nice day.